Hello everyone, we're back with the Dwight Divine Road to the Show. And in the first episode, I would say Dwight Divine did just fine. He hit 405, he showed more power than what I thought he would have, he also showed off some good speed, he does clearly have some things that he needs to work on. Mostly the fielding. It was pretty bad, he had two throwing errors, and really the ratings, they're not exactly there, he has to work on those. He also should probably show some more discipline at the plate and try to draw some, walk, draw some walks. I know, I know, he is a quarterback that played for the Texans, but we are going to go with the massage therapy training and get the durability up by one. He needs to work on that as well. Can't have him getting hurts. That is one thing that I do like and don't like about this is that your player can get hurts. It makes things a bit interesting. Jumping into this series against the Biloxi Shuckers. Here we have a mistake by Divine in the field to begin the day, but he at least made the play. He's not showing much discipline either on the first at bat of the game in the first. He'll fly out to right field pretty weakly. Oh, oh, in the bottom of the fourth, he's going to swing at this one as well, hitting it right at the shortstop who knocks it down. But Divine is going to race down the line and beat it out and get an infield single. Chad Wallach with two on and two out is going to strike out. And strand a couple of runners and not get us on the board. Down 2-0 to zero in the bottom of the sixth. Divine hitting this one to right field. It looks like he got a bit underneath of it, though, and he did. It'll be an easy play, and Divine is not able to come through, but he did have a full count in that at bat, so he did work it and at least have the chance of getting walked. It didn't happen, though. He'll ground this one up the middle for a base hit to lead off the eighth. And he's going to take off in a 3-1 count and not draw a throw because the next batter would walk. Chad Wallach with one on, or two on and one out. It's going to ground it to the shortstop. He'll flip the second, and the second baseman fires the first to turn the double play. So that leadoff base hit is all for nothing. 3-2 as Divine comes up here in the bottom of the 10th. A chance to maybe walk things off or at the very least tie it. He's going to hit it to left field. It's back and not that far. It'll be caught by the left fielder. And the runner can't even tag up. We are going to go in to lose this one. Three to two. Uh, two hit day four divine, but they were both just singles. In the top of the first of the next game, a ground ball right divine. Can he make the routine flip to second? He can. He'll up turn a double play. In the bottom of the first, two on and nobody out. A fly ball to right field. Is it going to be deep enough for that runner to tag? He's going to try. The throw from the right fielder is going to be late. And it'll be a sack fly for Divine. A 1-0 lead in the bottom of the third. The runner's going to try and steal from first base, and he's going to be hosed at second. And that means there's two outs and nobody on for Divine. But he doesn't care. He's going to hit it to the right center gap. In a full count, it'll get down. And one hop to the wall. So a two-out double for Divine. Had that runner not tried to steal, he may have just scored anyway. Mickey Moniak up at the plate. He's going to swing and miss and strike out, stranding Divine at second base. In the top of the fifth, all tied at one, a ground ball to Divine right side. He'll make the play but not make the throw. I mean, they're going to call this an error. I want to hear your thoughts down below. Would you call that an error? I personally would just call that an infield single. It's a tough play. At least Devine gets a chance to make up for it in that same inning. He's going to help turn a double play and get out of the jam that he helped kind of create. In the bottom of the ninth, a chance for Devine to walk things off. He's going to hammer it to left field, but he's way out in front of the 90-mile-hour fastball, unfortunately. And he's just going to pop up a slider away in this 1-1 count. I feel like that's kind of his kryptonite, at least right now, is that away slider. He's just trying to do too much with it. He needs to go the other way. Just a one-hit day for Divine as we end up losing that one. Batting 400 in the early season. Divine with nobody on and two away. Hits it to the left center gap. He's going to round first and head for second. Is he going to go for three? He'll round second, but he's wisely going to stay at second with a two-out double. Taylor Jones is going to send one to the right center gap. Is it going to get down? Yes, it will. It'll be back-to-back -back two out doubles by the Rocket City Trash Pandas, and Divine will come around to score, making it one to nothing. In the bottom of five, Divine up with a runner on first. He'll hit it to center field, a hanging curveball. It's back and caught. A good 101 exit velo, but not enough to get it out of here. We do win this pitcher's duel, one to nothing. A good bounce back win. Two to nothing down in the bottom of four. Uh, pitch is going to be grounded through the left side of the infield. 
And that's going to be a leadoff base hit in this fourth inning. And Devine steals second. He will take off. It's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. Devine's going to round second and head for third. A dangerous play. It's going to work out, though. He goes first to third on a ground ball in the infield. Can he come around to score? A ball is going to be hit to right field. He's not going to be able to. It'll be a fly out to right field. I mean, at least he showed off some hustle and kind of showed off some good instincts. Can he draw a walk? We're going to try. We're down 0-2 in the bottom of six. It's a perfect, perfect line drive to the west center gap. It's back near the wall and actually is going to hit off of it. And this looks like a one-out double for Devine. A 107 exit velo off the bat. Now at third base with two away, Kevin Padlow is going to strike out and strand Devine at third. Another strikeout with Devine on base. He did have a two-hit game, but none of those came in the ninth inning where Rocket City would score six runs and win six to four. I mean, Jordan Adams actually had a walk-off grand slam. That is a great comeback. I wish Devine could have been a part of it, but he really wasn't. He's able to make the routine play to begin this game. Now in the bottom of three, we're down three to nothing. Devine's going to loop this slider in the left field for a base hit. Still not going the other way on the slider. You would like to see that eventually. At least he does get a hit on it and extends that streak up to 10 games. In the bottom of the seventh inning, a full count for Devine. Can he draw a walk? No, he's going to strike out on a slider that breaks back over the inside part of the plates. His first strikeout of his professional baseball career. A 2-0 count. A pitch off the inside corner is going to be called strike one. Now 2-1, a line drive. Left side is caught by the third baseman. And Biloxi is going to win this one 4-1 over the Trash Pandas. In the bottom of the first, Devine with 2-1 and nobody out. Gets a bit underneath of this fastball up. And a full count. Is that runner going to try and tag? He will. Can he get into scoring position? Yeah, he'll slide in. So at least Devine moves over the runner. In the bottom of two, we're up five to one. Devine's going to ground it at the third baseman. He's going to knock it down, and he's going to fire over to first. But Devine is too fast for that. They'll get an infield single, and that means he is now up to 11 games on this hit streak. A pretty good streak to start his young career. He'll get this one past the third baseman in the bottom of the fifth inning. And all over that changeup, and this should be a double. Yep, he'll lead off the bottom of the fifth with a double. Still nobody out. Kevin Padlow hitting this one to the right side. And Devine's going to stop at third base, even though the third base coach was waving him home. Should he have gone? We don't know. Now two away, first and third. It's going to be another strikeout with Devine at third base. He probably should have just tested it, but he didn't. At least we're up 11-3, so you can't feel too bad about it. This should be an easy double play, and it will be. And we're going to go on to win this one 11-3. A pretty solid game for Devine, going 2-5. for five. He'll take that every time out. So we know Devine is having a good start to his season, but how about the other shortstops in the organization? Zach Neto is doing pretty decent. He is on fire currently at the AAA level. David Fletcher at the MLB level. He is struggling, so I guess that's kind of good news for Dwight Devine. Trying to boost up some ratings here with a box jump. He gets a good boost to his durability and speed after earning a gold. In the division right now, we are in last place at 6-9 record-wise. So we have some work to do if we want to make the double A playoffs. And we could try to do that against Chattanooga, who we faced at the beginning of the year. Divine on the first pitch of this at bats is going to fly out. Now down 1-0 in the top of the third. It'll be a ground ball down the third baseline for a base hit. Uh, two out base hits. He is going to extend that hitting streak up to 12 games. You like seeing that. He would unfortunately not come around to score. So we're still trailing two to nothing. Is that we should going to show off the arm is a bit more accurate. Making the play there. Up four to two in the top of four. Divine hitting this one down the first baseline. It is. Is it going to get down? It is. And they're going to call it a fair ball. Divine's going to stop and head back for first. It'll be a bloop single. Making it first and third with one out. Taylor Jones up at the plate. He's going to hit this one to right field. Is he going to get down? It's not, but it should be deep enough for that runner to tag from third base. And he will score. Making it 5-2. to two, And we are going to go on to win this one at 5-4. So that last run was pretty key. Divine, a pretty good game. Three singles. I mean, that's not much power, but that's okay. In the top of three, we're up 1-0. Grounder up the middle by Divine. He's going to get through for a base hit. A one-out single, and you know what that means. It is going to extend that hit streak now up to 13 games. 
He would not score, so we're still only up one to nothing. Devine's gonna hammer the first pitch down the left field line, and he's gonna hook just Faldo by five and a half feet. And the very next pitch is gonna be hammered to left field again. This one back, and it is no doubt about it, gone. Another home run for Dwight Devine, the second of his season. How far did that one go? 392 feet, a 101.7 exit below, and it's gonna make it two to nothing. In the top of eight, still two to nothing. Devine is gonna hammer the next pitch he sees after hitting a home run for another home run. This one into the opposing dugout, or not dugout, the opposing bullpen. His second home run of the game, his third of the season. And that one going 388 with a 106.6 exit velo, and he makes it three to nothing. And we go into win this one five to one, a great game. I Dwight Devine, and he followed up with another home run. It looks like he might be able to. It's a perfect, perfect. It's back, it's past the hole and gone. So make it three straight home runs for Dwight Devine. And he's gonna give the Trash Pandas an early one nothing lead on his fourth home run of the season. That one a 105 exit below. Oh, yeah. So Dwight Devine going mad with power. It's not exactly what I was expecting. I mean, his ratings are only in like the 30s, but he is just mashing home runs left and right. Can he get another one here? He's got a couple of runners on. He's gonna hit it on the ground, so it's not a home run unless it's a Little League home run, and that's not gonna happen. He'll get gunned out at first, and it's gonna stay just a four to zero lead. Still four to nothing in the top of seven. Devine getting a hold of a fastball, hitting it to center field. It is not going to be deep, though, or not out of here. It's deep. Actually deep enough to advance the runner from second to third. And it's going to stay to four to nothing, though. Now six to four. In the top of the ninth, Devine grounds it between the left-hander's legs for a base hit. And it's going to make it first and second with nobody out. Another hit on the day for Devine. And that would make it a two for five. We go on to win this one at ten to four over Chattanooga. In the bottom of four of the next game, it's still zero to zero. A ground ball to the second baseman, Devine, firing back to first, and they will turn the double play and get out of that mini jam. A one to nothing in the top of eight. A chance for Devine to add to the lead for Rocket City. He actually has a dynamic challenge that is asking him to drive in a run. Can he do that? It looks like no. It'll be a fielder's choice, and it'll stay one to nothing. Is that enough to get the win? It is. The Rocket City Trash Pandas hang on to win this pitcher's duel one to nothing. Zero to zero in the top of the first. Devine is gonna perfect, perfect this fastball. Uh, it's gonna hammer to left field. Is it gone? No. And a one hop into the wall. Kind of surprising not to see that with the yard after we saw all those other hits with the yard, but that's okay. It's an RBI double. Now with one out, a ground ball up the middle. He's gonna get through. Devine's gonna round third and head for home. The throw to the plate is gonna be late. And Devine will slide in safely and make it two to nothing in the top of the first after that Mickey Moniac. RBI single, three to nothing. The base is loaded for Devine. He's gonna hit this one to the left center gap. It's gonna get down and roll all the way to the wall. It's gonna score one, make it two. Is it gonna score the third runner? Yes. It'll be a bases clearing RB or three RBI double for Dwight Devine, making it six to nothing in just the top of the second. Mickey Moniak up at the plate. He's gonna hit one to the left center gap as well. It is back, it is deep, and it is gone. A two run homer for Mickey Moniak. And that's going to make it a blowout here for Rocket City over at top of Chattanooga. And that is Ammoniac's first home run of the season. 8-2 to two in the top of the sixth. Devine looking to do some more damage. He'll hit it to right field. It's going to get down. And that'll be a leadoff single to start the top of the sixth. Is he going to try to steal? He will. Even with the big lead, he has taken off. And he's going to slide in safely. I guess no lead is really safe in the minor leagues with this pitching that is kind of suspect. That is Devine's fifth stolen base of the season. Here's going to be a line drive to the right side. It gets down for a base hit and Devine's going to round third and head for home and he is going to slide in safely again. An RBI single for Ramirez is going to make it 9-2. 11-2 in the seventh inning. Devine is going to draw his first walk of his professional career and it comes off of Ryan Nuttov. I guess we'll go with that. And it really only took a pitch around. Now in a full count, Devine is going to draw another walk. So after going that whole time with no walks, he makes it back to back to backs with a walk and finishes off a very impressive day. Three for four, a couple of doubles, four RBI, and even had a couple of walks. Now in the next game, he's gonna ground it to the shortstop and he will get thrown out at first, but at least he gets the RBI and makes it two to nothing in the top of the third. 
Three to one in the top of the fifth inning. Devine hits a hanging curveball to the left center gap. It'll get down and it's going to bounce all the way to the wall. And this should be a stands up one out double. Putting a runner in scoring position. Can somebody drive him in? It has to be Taylor Jones. And he's going to hit this one to right center. And that will get down. Taylor Jones able to come through with two outs in the inning. And drive in Devine making it 4-1 to one in the fifth inning. Now in the bottom of the eighth inning, 5-2. to two. Devine in the field. Has the ball hit right at him. And he's going to boot it. He'll throw to first, but it's going to be late. So another error for Devine just when you thought the fielding was getting better. He boots a ball, 5-3, to three, still in the eighth inning, so that mistake has come around to score another ball for Devine. Can he make the play? He can this time. He'll help us get out of the jam that he kind of created, and we are going to go on to win this one 5-3 to three over the lookouts and actually sweep the entire series and make it a seven-game win streak for the Trash Pandas as we improve our record all the way up to 12-9. and nine. Remember, we were 6-9 and nine before that series. So Dwight Devine had a pretty good first month of double-A baseball, at least on offense, hitting 400. He also showed off some power and speed. The defense, I mean, he made four errors in the first month. Not exactly amazing. It'll hopefully get better in the next month, which is May. We'll be taking on the Tennessee Smokies, the Chicago Cubs double-A affiliate, and hopefully we can get better on defense. Thanks for watching this one, and I will see you then.